everything. Everything gonna be all right this morning. Oh yeah. Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. You ever just sometimes feel overwhelmed? Today I'm feeling overwhelmed. It is almost noon and I haven't gotten done the things that I need to get done. And uh, took Luciano to HEB. I did not know that was going to take almost two hours. Just trying to uh, prepare. It is 61 degrees right now. In around three hours, the temperature begins to drop. And they are predicting 23 degrees for an overnight low. And I'm sure that could go either way. So I just want to be ready for it. Everything's going to be all right. Hey, I got a visit last night from uh, Rideshare and Beyond. She has a channel out of, uh, she works out of Corpus Christi and she had a ride from the airport to Rockport last night and uh, looked me up, stopped and said hello and gave me a gift. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time to track me down. <laughs> if it's dark, um, I should be easy to find in the Walmart parking lot. It was very nice to meet you and uh, check that channel out guys, Ride Chair and Beyond. I'm going to put a link in the description. Yeah. There you go. There's something cheery to get me going in the morning. I got a joke from uh, our friend Kathy in Australia. Did you hear about the guy that got ketchup in his eyes? Yeah, he has perfect Heinz sight. <coughs> Heinz ketchup, Heinz sight. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, man. Uh, Kathy's got a channel, too. I'll put a link in for that. Little Garden Big Dreams. She's a homesteader in, uh, I believe it's Maud, Australia. And I guess the nearest bigger city would be Victoria. Is that right, Kathy? Sorry, just checking my mirrors. Seeing what other people on the road are up to. Right now, guys, my friend uh, Tammy asked me to go check out a property that she was interested in. So uh, it's uh, cottages. I like to call them bungalows. But it is uh, rockportcottagecompany.com. I'll put that link in the description. Do you see a pattern here? And she's looking at, uh, sent me a copy of an online ad uh, advertisement listing, I guess they would call it, for a property. And it looks good on the inside but i didn't see any outside photos so we'll we'll do a little drive by and take a photo for tammy tammy i hope you guys are doing well today i appreciate your friend no problem at all running over here gives me gives me content gives me something to do keeps me off the streets <laughs> i got another gift guys i got a paypal from uh jason at jason's texas adventures say it with me i'm gonna put a link in the description to his channel but uh, Jason's a good guy he was just down in uh, my neck of the woods Corpus Christi and uh, Port Aransas and all that and he, he did a, a bunch of shorter videos uh, good guy he lives up outside of I believe Spring Texas I, I've been watching his channels for uh, his channel I think the geezer recommended Jason's channel and that's when I started watching Jason. So Jason, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, oh, Rod Sharon Beyond. Got to give you one too. There you go. I think I'm caught up, right guys? <laughs> the property is past the airport before Copano Bay Bridge. And I believe it's before 1781. So it should be right up here on the left. And I've never gone back here before. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a private property sign or anything, but we got a reason to go in now. My truck has Texas all over it, guys. I apologize. 
That's just been the weather lately. It, it rains and leaves your truck dirty. Cottages for sale or lease. One, two, three bedrooms. 361-727-2132. RockportCottageCompany.com. And I will put that in the description. These are nice. They have trees, guys. Take a sip here. Of my Jack Daniel, I mean my coffee. I know you're not supposed to drink and drive, but I, I, I can't be pulling over every two or three minutes. <laughs> I do have my nice cold coffee. And we are looking for Unit 15. And if... I, well, this road's not big enough to get anything too big in here. I was going to tell you to watch your height, but I don't think there's room for an RV in here. Maybe if you had like a Sprinter van or something. I'm just looking at house numbers. We did drive right by a, a, a small pool back there on the right, so I'll check that out. So, Tammy, I'm going to tell you, I haven't seen your place yet. I'm just going to tell you to buy it so I can come over and uh, use the pool. Just like two or three times a day. No big deal. Some storage units. I think this is going to be number 15 right up here on the left. So everyone has a, a driveway, a place to park. I don't see one on number 15. There is that dirt and gravel right to the side of it. And there's an empty spot across the street. So I don't know if that's for parking or this a future home you can see it has a fence right there and it looks like there's a trailer park on the other side of that fence so i don't know if, if you have a backyard or not let me get a better angle on this guys let me let this car go by how rude of people leaving their homes while i'm trying to film a youtube video <laughs> The gall of these people. The gall. Now I got my finger in the way. It's okay. My finger's blessed. So the house looks like it has good bones. I like the photos on the inside. I, uh, if you buy this, please paint it. <laughs> Not a big fan of the paint scheme. They're a little close together. You don't have a tree. Well, yeah, I guess you do. I guess you got that palm tree. And, Tommy, please find out what kind of palm tree that is. We need to know that. It's kind of... I like the ones where we first came in because there was a lot of cool trees there. But this particular area does not have cool trees. It's bigger than I thought it would be. I think this one was a two-bedroom. I looked at the email last night when you sent it. But let me let me get on the side here and take a look at it. While I'm backing up, I'll, I'll give you the dad joke button. I have a fear of speed bumps. I'm slowly getting over it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the laugh. <laughs> One more. But have you heard about the restaurant on the moon? Great food. No atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. All right. That was my in-flight entertainment while I attempted to uh, back up. I was just... So, like, I don't see, like, a designated parking spot for this house. So, I don't know if you can park where I am right now. Or, like I said, across the street, there's an open paved area. And then I don't know if your backyard is your backyard. Or a different property. I would imagine they wouldn't build right up to someone's property fence, right? You have to have a backyard back there. You don't have to. Nothing would surprise me nowadays. But it's... The inside is much, much nicer than the outside looks. There's nothing wrong with the outside. I just don't like the paint job. The deck looks like it's older, but it everything looks sturdy on it. Nothing's coming off of it. And there is... Your realtor... The reason you're paying an extra 15% for this property. <laughs> and the, there's a fence right there too. I don't see any side doors. 
Do your two windows match up so like you're staring at each other through the windows? Let me go down the end of the street. I might as well show you the end of the street and we'll go back and take a look at the pool. I do like the location of the houses when you first come in and this section as well. Just there's some trees. They, properties look like they've been there a while. It is a very nice small bungalows. They all look approximately the same size. Some are a little smaller. I would imagine three bedrooms would be three very small bedrooms. They got a screened in porch. A few people have a screened in porch. That's that's a good idea, especially in this area. Well, they have a good amount of parking across the street there. See, this is the parking I'm talking about across the street from your place. And this is some type of natural gas works over here. It's got an energy sign on it. I would imagine the storage units are an additional charge, hopefully for property owners only. Keep all your toys. I do. I really, really like this area at the beginning. It's a cool little area. It's got the live oaks. And let's take a look at the pool down here. We only passed, what, one car maybe? Two cars? I think it was only one car. For, for a small area, it's a nice pool. I like that house right next to it. Sit out on your deck and check out the people in the pool. Yeah, it's a nice pool area. I would imagine there's some type of homeowner fees maybe involved as well. That's just my speculation. I haven't looked at the website yet. And that's the office right there on the left. Tammy, I hope that did the job for you. If you need anything else I can help you with, send me an email and let me know. There's the realtor again. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Two cars now. Thanks for watching.